Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Molesky and this is my YouTube channel. Today I would like to do an expose on myself. I have a story to tell from a very much younger version of myself that I just would like to get your opinion on. I think it's important to share this story and I can't quite tell you why. Maybe we'll work it out together or maybe I'll put in the comment section that that was the dumbest thing ever and you hate me. Okay, fine. So in my early twenties, I went to, uh, I went out dancing with some friends and I was feeling in a very good mood and I was feeling confident and pretty. I was also feeling a little buzzed. So I left my friends and I did two laps around this club to find the man that I considered the most handsome. Okay. So I'm looking for a very good looking man. And I find him. He's with about six other friends. They're all at a table. He's kind of sitting against a wall and I, uh, approach him and I don't say anything to him. And I go up to him and I just start making out with him. Okay. Okay. And he responds. So there's, there's no fight. There's, there's nothing like that. Um, and I just kind of wanted to do that to see if I could. Okay. So I, I did, we exchanged numbers. I think we talked once. I don't remember. I, I, I didn't, I didn't like him. Um, but anyway, I have told that story. So hold on. It's 2019, 16, three, about two, four, the past for about 17 years. I've told that story. What do you think about that story? in 2019 or beyond, if you're listening to this later. When I used to tell that story, men loved it. They said, that's really hot. That's really awesome. That would be so cool to have that happen to me. Women were like, oh my God, that's so awesome. And, and whenever I would tell that story at a party or whatever, uh, people would smile. Okay. Then Donald Trump tells people that he does basically what I did, which is grab women by the pussy. And when I heard that, I was appalled that this, this man said that, that he would do that. And then I remembered, oh yeah, you are Donald Trump. I had to question how inappropriate it was. So I think right now, most people 90% of the people, 99% of the people that are going to be listening or watching this video are going to say absolutely, totally inappropriate. And I'm with you. But it's funny to me that just two and a half years ago, that story changed. The, the reception of it changed. And actually I haven't, I, you know what, since I realized that I am Donald Trump, I haven't really, oh, hey, check it out. I am Donald Trump. (laughs) You like it? Anyway, since then, I haven't really told that story, but I think it's an important um, thought experiment. Why was it okay for me back then, not through the contemporary lens, but why was it okay for me then, for the 17 years that I've told that story, that people were high-fiving me and loving it? What has changed? Why is it different? Is it because... Donald Trump is a man. No, no, no. It's because he's going to be president. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But if he wasn't, if he was just some me, if he was me, just some person, I'm not wealthy, not running for president, just a schmo. Would it be more acceptable that I do it than a man? And if that's the case, then don't women have more rights? I mean, remember when Owen Schroyer was... (laughs) was at a women's rights march and a woman grabbed his dick. Not okay. Minor issue. As- so if our president can grab a woman by the pussy, I can grab you by the ball. She just grabbed my dick. Is that sexual assault? No, bye. Is that sexual assault? Yes. So you just sexually assaulted me? I did assault so you. So you be arrested? Arrest me. I'm not going to arrest you. They're police officers right here. It was not. <laughs> but he even said, oh my God, women are so oppressed that you can grab grab my genitals in public next to police officers and you won't be arrested. So look at this. Women have so much privilege. She can sexually assault me and get away with it. And then she was like, ha ha ha. Yeah. Honey. So that's, if women are that oppressed and how come we can get away with that? Now he is pressing charges, but I would have been that dick grabber. Owen. I would have been the one to grab your dick when I was 23, 
Oh, and I won't grab your dick. But it's just an interesting consideration. How things have changed, why they've changed. What's the difference between me approaching that guy without consent at a club? I didn't grab his... I didn't grab him, but I put my mouth on on him. Not not a huge point that I have today. I just wanted to do a little thought experiment with you fine folks. Speaking of fine folks, at this point, I have eight subscribers, <laughs> which is awesome, but I'm going for 10. So if you like this video, please subscribe and then we can hang out more often. And sometimes it'd be like, that video sucked. And sometimes it'd be like, whoa, this bitch is awesome. So give me a try subscribe, start a meetup in your community, get people talking. Thanks for tuning in to listen how I sexually assaulted a man. Until next time.